good morning children today we are going to see class 9 chapter 1 number system when we speak about the number system this we have studied from grade 1 we have seen eight year when we study in the first chapter in math book if we see we speak about the numbers the lower class we may have seen the natural numbers then whole numbers integers like that we have seen now in grade 9 we are going to discuss about the number system especially the rational and irrational numbers before we go to the concept just we'll do the introduction on number system in number system if we say in generally four types are there decimal number system that is base 10 then if we see 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and this digits we use it in binary number system that is base 2 there we use 0 and 1 octal number system that is base 8 we see 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 hexa number system it is base 16 here we use the numbers 0 to 9 a b c d e f in these number systems the last three that is binary octa and hexa this we specially we use in the computer science so we leave these concepts we will concentrate only on decimal number system that we apply in mathematics decimal number system that is 0 to 9 they are called real numbers that is we speak in real numbers before we enter that one just we should know what is the numbers why we use the numbers numbers is a mathematical tool or object that can be used to count measure or label so to count suppose i have some 10 chocolates so i have a number of chocolates then to count we use the numbers to measure to measure the length of the table we use the numbers to label suppose a child got 80 percentage so this 80 percentage is got it so to label that one we use the numbers that is a basic concepts now we speak the real numbers here if we say i divide in two concepts that is with a decimal without decimals without a decimal numbers if we say that is all the integers will come under without decimals all the decimals if we say all the integers if we say that is negative integers zero integers positive integers this positive integers are also called as a natural numbers even this can be said as a counting number since we use these numbers for counting and they are counting numbers when it comes to the decimal numbers here divided into three concepts terminating decimals non terminating repeating decimals non terminating non repeating decimals just we will see what is a terminating and a non terminating then we will go in depth terminating that is it ends you take any number here i have taken 5 divided by 2 you got 2.5 remainder you got 0 it stopped there it ends there that's why we call there those decimals as terminating decimals non terminating decimals that means you will not get the remainder zero when you divide it goes on see i put dot 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 it shows that they are non terminating <coughs> in non terminating repeating decimals the example here is uh, what i have given here 1.232323 it goes so here two three these two digits they are repeating this can also be written as 1.23 bar 1.23 bar the next one if i say non terminating non repeating decimals here it is given the example 
7 it goes on like this so if put dot 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 it is given so by seeing the decimals itself we can identify whether it is a terminating or non-terminating so when it comes to non-terminating all the non-terminating non-repeating decimals they are called irrational numbers <coughs> when we speak about the irrational numbers root 2 root 3 root 5 it goes on we'll come we'll discuss first the rational numbers then we'll go there all the terminating decimals and non-terminating repeating decimals together we say as a rational numbers terminating decimals non-terminating repeating decimals together we say the rational numbers okay what is the rational number definition if we say the numbers that can be expressed in the form p by q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0 again I repeat rational numbers the numbers that can be expressed in the form p by q where p and q are the integers and q is not equal to 0 example here you can see 7 by 3 for example, 7 by 3 is a rational number. Why we say it is a rational number? See, 7 and 3, they are the integers. And the denominator should not be 0. See? Why we say the denominator should not be 0? When it comes the, in denominator 0, then it would be undefined. For example, 5 by 0, it is undefined. This undefined. They are not. This number is not a rational number. So when we speak about the rational numbers, it should be in the form p by q, where p and q are the integers, and q is not equal to zero. Remember, we said p and q are the integers. So all the integers. Okay, that we will discuss again here. Now, if we see non-terminating repeating decimals non-terminating, non-repeating decimals. Here if you see 1, 1.2345678925498 here if we see the numbers are not repeating in a pattern. So here though, here in this if we see 2 is repeated, 9 also repeated, 8 also repeated, 4 also repeated but it is not in a pattern as we have seen here in this case. Here you see 2, 3, 2, 3 it repeats in a pattern. So they are non-terminating, non repeating decimals. But in this case, it is not like that. So we can say this one is a non-terminating, non-repeating decimals. They are called irrational numbers. Even root 2, root 3, root 5, all the numbers which are under the square root are irrational numbers. Because that can be written as a, when we convert this one, it will be in the decimals and it will not end. When I speak, you say, all the numbers which are under the square root, we can't say 4, root 4. Root 4 is not a irrational number because root 4 can be written as 2, which is an integer. Root 9 can be written as 3, <coughs> which is an integer. Now, here I say uh, we come to this concentration of numbers P and Q. Can be the rational number can be written in the form p by q, where p and q are the integers. Now, are all the integers a rational number? If a question arises like this, what can be your answer? Are all the rational numbers or all the integers a rational numbers? Can we say all the integers are rational numbers? Yes, we can say all the integers as a rational numbers just by writing we can put in the denominator 1 and can be written in the form p by q which is a rational numbers so all the integers can be written as a rational rational numbers by putting 1 in the denominator so minus 3 by 2 minus 2 by 1 minus 1 by 1 0 by 1 1 by 1 2 by 1 3 by 1 goes like it. So all the integers can be written as a 
rational numbers <coughs> but all the rational numbers cannot be written as a integers i repeat all the rational numbers cannot be written as a integers for example 3 by 4 3 by 4 is a rational number but it is not an integer because it will be in the decimal it will be 0.7 something it goes so it is not a integer so i say all the rational numbers cannot be an integer 5 by 1 is a rational number and it is also an integer but this case it is a rational number but it is not a integer okay so we can conclude that all the rational numbers cannot be an integers okay is zero a rational number is zero a rational number if i see in the exercise 1.1 the first question is this one can we write zero as a rational number yes we can write zero as a rational number by writing by putting one in the denominator zero can be written as zero by one which is a rational number <coughs> okay now one more concept i want to say always real numbers can be represented as a number line all the rational numbers irrational numbers together we can represent as a number line <coughs> in this chart if i say with the decimals without decimals here you are seeing rational numbers irrational numbers integers together i put as a real numbers but in general when we give the definition rational numbers and irrational numbers together we say as a real numbers but what about the integer integer can also be written as a rational number when we speak rational number there it comes integer also so in general we can say real numbers means rational number and irrational number together we say as a real numbers before we go to the next concept just i want to give a, a small introduction about the infinity infinity symbol is this one look at it often you have this doubt is infinity a real number is infinity a real number is it a number in general if we say infinity is not a real number infinity is not a real number it is just a number greater than any natural number infinity is a, just a greater than any natural number we can see that that one it is in other words in simple words we say it is a boundless you cannot identify okay a 10 lakh is a infinity you can say like that it is endless we cannot, we cannot imagine that one that's why we say it is not a real number but when we define it this it is greater than any natural number this much we can say it is greater than any natural number when you come to higher classes this concept you will study often we use k upon infinity is equal to 0 this you will study the higher class k upon infinity equal to 0 where k is any real number and this you see sometimes in the lower class also you might have studied any number by zero is infinity any number by zero is infinity zero by any number is zero any number by infinity is zero this will say in the higher class this already we were using this one now three more numbers are there that we'll say which is more important in grade 9 and in 10 also prime numbers 
prime numbers are the numbers greater than 1 and it should be divisible by 1 and itself. I repeat this one. Prime numbers are the numbers greater than 1 and it should be divisible by 1 and itself. Examples will be seen. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. Here I didn't include the numbers 4, 6, 8, 9. I didn't include because they will be saying they have more common form, more factors. If I say 4, if I take, it will be divisible by 1 and it will be divisible by 2, it will be divisible by 4. So, 4 is not a prime number. Composite number are the numbers greater than 1 and all other prime numbers. All other prime numbers. All the numbers which are other than the prime numbers are called composite numbers. 4, 6, 8, 10, 8, 9, 10, 12, it goes. All these are composite numbers. In other ways, if we say they have no more, more than one factors. More than two factors, we can say. They are composite numbers. Co-prime numbers, if we say two numbers that have no common factor other than one. I repeat, co-prime numbers, two numbers that have no common factor other than one are called co-prime numbers. Co-prime numbers means always you have to take two two numbers. You take <coughs> <coughs> and for example, here I have taken 23 and 24. In these two numbers, if we say they have only one as a common factor. 3 and 5, they have only one as a common factor. They are co prime numbers. But if we say 6 and 8, they are not co prime numbers. The reason. For 6, if we say the factors 1, 2, 3 and 6. 8, if we say 1, 2, 4 and 8. In this, in this if we say 1 is also a common factor, 2 is also a common factor. Because of this reason, we say 6 and 8 are not co-prime numbers. Children often make this mistake. When we ask to write the prime numbers, they include 1 also. They start from 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. It goes like that. They write it. That's why here I gave clearly prime numbers greater than 1. Composite numbers greater than 1. So what about 1? 1 is neither prime nor composite. 1 is neither prime nor composite. We wind up with this introduction in this class. In the next video, we will see about the exercises. How to uh, find the rational numbers between two rational numbers. How to represent rational numbers on the number line. How to express the decimals in the form P by Q. Those concepts we will study in the next class. Thank you.